What's happening, guys? Well, we're in the shop. The bike's torn apart. Well, just the front end anyway. But I got to do a little bit of maintenance, and I got a cable problem. Well, not really a cable problem. I got to reroute the cable, my clutch cable. And you might have saw, I did get that swapped out in Sturgis, but it's not routed right. Need to route a clutch cable properly, but I'll show you exactly kind of what's going on with it. You get down to here, it's going in front of my triple tree. And then also I was having problems right here because some cables are a little bit different, like this bar nut right here if i can get it well it might not do it for me right here with it being still tight but this would come out on both ends it would catch on the lip making the clutch really really tight not exact adjustment but what is happening right now is if i turn the bar so far to the right you can see where it's catching right there see right there well that is disengaging my clutch. So it makes it hard to take a right turn. Not a great feeling because it was about twice I almost actually dropped the bike where I'm having to take a tight right turn and I couldn't. So I literally had to back the bike up, take a little bit of a turn, back it back up. So it wasn't great, but I didn't have all the tools to fix it myself. This is why being able to work on your own stuff, knowing the proper way to do it, you know, I'm not gonna discredit the guy and everything like that. I tried to let him know it was grabbing, but I think he was just kind of done, wanted to move on. Um, I mean, nice guy, but I'm having to come in and fix my own stuff, but it's gonna be right. First thing we gotta do is loosen the cable up at the adjuster so I can disconnect it from the lever. Depending on your cable, it's gonna depend on the wrench size for the adjustments. This one being a 916 and a 716. Get the lever off, that holds the cable in place, pin go in, you know, real, real easy to take apart. But now it's actually figured out how that cable needs to be routed because I can't route it like the stock cable, like it was. And I think that's how he tried to, but that's a no-go because it is pulling. So as I'm getting the cable out, I did notice this, and this is what it's doing on the front of that triple tree. It's actually flattening the sheathing, so it's pulling on that cable, making it extra tight, and that could actually cause even problems down the road. All right, guys, it took me a little bit to figure out how to route my cable, but let me show you what I came up with. So it's still coming up almost the exact same way, but instead of coming behind the frame on this side, it's going in front, making it just a easy transition. And then what I had to do is add a hose clamp up here to secure it behind the triple trees. Now I can rotate the bars all the way to the right and no pulling and to the left. Now without using the hose clamp, what was happening is it was catching when I turned the bars to the left. Now it's not interfering at all. So you might need to add a hose clamp depending on your cable. Now I don't have to worry about it breaking the cable sheath or breaking the cable, prolonging the cable. I really hate that it did this in the first place. Once you have your cable properly routed, you just tighten everything back up and put everything back on the way it came but you don't want to forget your safety clip on the bottom of that bolt because that'll be a bad day as well because if that bolt comes out, you won't have any lever because it can't pivot and it'd just be just as bad. But you want about a dime size, dime to nickel size free play for your lever, but you'll just tighten it up right down here at the adjustment. So real, real easy. Well guys, this was more to give you guys some information of why properly routing your clutch cable is very important. And it really stinks that I had to go back and fix it myself with paying to have a new cable put on. But now it's not gonna interfere with the bars turning or being able to handle the bike at slow maneuvers. 
because like I said earlier, I almost fell over in a parking lot, making me feel a little embarrassed. Like I couldn't handle this big bike and that's not the case. It's because when I was trying to take a right turn, it was pulling on it, disengaging the clutch and the bike would not go forward. The other thing I did not mention to where it could have caused me to have a serious accident. I was on my way home and I had to try to go around some cars. Well, it was taking a right turn, not a serious, serious right turn, but the bike would not operate like it should. That clutch was not engaging right to where the bike wanted to go forward. So I could have got into a serious accident on the road because of that problem. So I wanted to give you guys that information of if you need to route your cable a different way, there's a few different variations in cables. There are some like this Barnett where at the adjuster, it comes apart at the top and bottom. So also that can cause an issue, like again, because when it was catching, it was throwing that cable out of alignment, basically making it tighter. And that can also cause the cable to wear out quicker. And we don't wanna be replacing clutch cables every few miles we want it to last several thousands of miles because if you've ever replaced one that is a lot of work of taking an exhaust pipe off taking the transmission cover off to replace one so i did not want to have to replace another one within just a few hundred miles or less because of what it was causing so I hope this helps you out and some good information to have your clutch cable properly routed so you don't run into those issues.